Hello guys, it's Shadow here uh, with a new series for New Age Dev Gaming. Now in this series I'll be trying to recreate a multiplayer Minecraft version of an old Flash game uh, called Civilization Wars. And as you can see on the screen, the objective of the game is actually quite simple. All you've got to do is um, allow your troops to take over the entire world and destroy the other faction that's in that world. Uh, you simply do this by dragging your mouse over the buildings and sending them to other buildings. But you've got three types of of buildings. Uh, you've got the normal buildings, which actually generate more troops for you. Actually, um, yeah, they generate more troops. Then you've got towers, which don't generate more troops, but they send out pulse of pulsing fires, which um, attack other players. Uh, and then you also have the crystal mines, and these are these simply generate more crystals for you that you can use for um, magic attacks like a fire strike or a fireball or send more support troops, that kind of stuff. The game itself was qu actually quite popular uh, some time ago uh, with a large variety of maps and different objective types like giant monsters, but also the upgrading part. Now, the main problem with recreating this in multiplayer is that we need to rethink the entire way that the upgrades work because um, the entire game was single player and you could just level up, increase your, um, your upgrades and then try and destroy the other factions. However, in this series we plan to make it entirely multiplayer, meaning that we need to rethink the way that the upgrades and some systems work. Also, we have to adjust it to Minecraft, meaning that we have to plan out everything. So the first step in this um, this series where we will code and do all that kind of stuff, the first step is that we plan it out. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go into Minecraft and have um, manual mode to check out how things will work. Okay, now that we're in Minecraft, let me first um, repair this world so we can check out how a normal game would work. Okay, I'm back, and now that you can see, uh, I've prepared a world for us that we can check out. Now, this could be a normal game. Of course, uh, the buildings are subject to change and everything, but this will be um, a normal building. One of those that generate more um, more people. Uh, that will be a crystal mine and that will be a simple tower. Now what I want want this game to do is that a player can hover at a certain height but he can't go up or down so he has to stay at this height and he can select his buildings so he can move around he can select his buildings like this then a yellow, yellow outline will come around it that should be uh, su sufficient and you can do this with all his buildings and then send them over to another building like he would do in the game. Um, now of course this would take some coding. First of all we need to create the game it's, um, the game instance itself. Uh, we need to make sure all the events are right. Um, but yeah, I think the main problem here is the entities that need to walk from place to place and the numbers that need to be shown somewhere we need to have numbers that say how many players are how many entities are in a certain castle uh, so we will need that now the crystal mines will have to generate more crystals for you which we'll use as a scoreboard uh, we'll just save a scoreboard uh, with the crystal with the amount of crystals that you have so this should all work perfectly fine so let's go into Eclipse and see what we can do Alright, now that we're in Eclipse, let's first start by creating the actual project. And I'm just going to call it Civilization Wars, because that's what it is. Alright, now let us first make sure that our sources and our packages are right, so I'm going to name it my usual registering package name. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the first main class. Um, now I, I'm not just going to call it main. I'm going to call it Civ Wars. So this way we'll know that it's the main class. So as a main class it's going to extend the Java plugin. To do that we're going to need to import the external jars of course. 
Now, this is not going to be a tutorial on how to code plugins. I'm just going to code this plugin. Um, now, it's up to you guys what you want. Um, you could either, I mean, just say it in the comments if you like me to, if you would like me to code everything and show everything in a video, or just do the coding off camera and show you what I've changed every time uh, in the video. Anyway, let me just start up the main methods of the, the main class here. Okay, that's good. Okay, now that we've set everything up, um, let us first start by creating a new game object because we're going to need to have a game instance, we're going to need to follow it, we're going to need to know um, when a player joins a game, stuff like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a new a new package which is called let's just call it um, games. Let's just call it games. It's as simple as that. Okay. Now inside games, I'm going to call game modes. Now game mode is going to be a public abstract class, meaning that it's gonna be a mother class of stuff. Okay, I'll skip the part where I'm coding the game modes. Alright, now that I'm um, finished with the game modes, I can I can explain them to you. So, this being the mother class, you can just see that I've linked the events to here. So I've created some listeners, some listeners, like the block listener, the entity listener, the player listener, and I've registered them. And then I sent them to the abstract class. So, whatever happens, it will just be sent here. So if a player is inside a lobby, and we're gonna get to that soon. So if, for example, if a player is into inside a lobby, um, and he tries to break a block, it will just say you can break a block and it gets cancelled. Now the same for uh, placing and damage, and it's also the same in the normal game game mode. Um, so these just extend game modes, and that's all you need to know about that. Um, now of course for all of this to work. We need to create a, a CV player uh, class just so we can put the players, we can follow them, and we have our own player object. So we can see in what game they are, um, what they're doing, and I'll just complete that now. Alright, I'm back. And now, what I did is I created two new objects, which is the CV player object.